Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video we're going to learn a little bit of how to make this simple cup shape and hopefully it will be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open a brand new Blender file. I'm going to turn on um, help for you down here in the bottom left corner. You can always see what keys I'm pressing. I'll hopefully remember to say what I am pressing as well though. Go ahead and delete the cube by hitting X and then hit shift A, add mesh, and let's do a circle. You can see down here there are some options in the bottom left corner. Go ahead and change the fill type to either a triangle fan or end gun. I'm going to do end gun uh, just to fill it easy. And then I'm just going to hit tab to go into edit mode from this point and I'm going to hit 1 on my numpad to go into the front orthographic view. And you can see that I have it all selected. If I don't have it selected, I'm going to hit Z to go into wireframe and then just make a box around it. If I hit Z, well, if I'm in solid if I'm in solid view and I try and select it, it will only select the front ones. So, for instance, if I select it like this, it will only select these few and not the back ones because I can't see them. It will only select what you can see. So now I'm just going to go back into wireframe, select them all, and hit E. This will extrude. I'm going to extrude it to about the height of a cup and if you left click in between there, like there, you can always just hit G, move it up, and then I'm going to hit S, make it bigger at the top, and you can select these ones, make them smaller. As long as you're in wireframe mode, you won't have to worry about making sure that you have them all selected. Now I'm going to select the top, I'm going to hit E again, and I'm going to right click. You can see that I can go up and down, but if I right click it'll just secure it right in the same exact spot. Uh, now I'm going to hit S, and I'm just going to scale it down a little bit, paying attention to the outside vertices, these two, one, two, making sure that they're not too far from there, because this is going to be the depth of the cup. And then I'm going to go E and go down. Now if we look at this in our solid view we have a really messed up cup but if we go back into wireframe we can make these smaller and we'll go right inside. We have the basic shape of the cup but you can see it's pretty rigid especially if we hit tab and go into object mode. Uh, this is not at all what a real cup would look like. They don't really have these kind of grooves. I'm going to hit shade smooth to fix some of that, but you can still see it looks kind of weird, especially with the shading down here and up here. So next off, we're going to go to a modifier, hit add modifier, and subdivision surface. Now it looks really weird, uh, but this is just one step to get it closer to making it look even better. So let's go back into edit mode by hitting tab and hit control R. And you can see it brings up this yellow line. And because we're in solid mode, I can only really select this one, or I can select these, because this is all I can see. If I'm in wireframe mode, and I hit Control R, it, you can see it kind of flickers between these two. I want to try and click on the outside one, and move it down as far as I can. I'm going to do it again, and move it to the top. This will tell the subdivision modifier a little bit more precision. It will tell exactly where I want some of these things to be. And you can see when you orbit around in wireframe mode, it gets kind of messy. So I'm going to switch back to solid mode and hit Alt and then click on uh, just one of the edges and it will select the entire circle on the bottom. It's pretty easy. Hit E. I'm going to right click again and hit S to make it smaller. And that will just make a crisp edge right there. It's almost like right here it's making a bevel on the edge of that. So that works out pretty good. I'm going to go back into wireframe mode and I'm going to hit control R and focus the circle on the inside of it and do the same as I did on the outside by just bringing this to the top and one to the bottom. And then just like we did on the bottom row, how we alt clicked we can do that same thing with this inside row and we're going to do it because if we hit tab and go into solid mode you can see the inside looks a little bit warped so we can just hit tab again go into uh, 
edit mode and we can even do it in solid mode looking from this face and hit control R click here and move it all the way down to the bottom you can see how it pushes the edges the faces down which is exactly what we want and voila we have a pretty good looking cup right there if you ever want it to be a little bit smoother you can always increase this and it will make it a little bit, a little bit crisper you can also add one more right here if you want it to be a little bit more defined at the top and that will, will create a few more vertices along the top that will tell the subdivision modifier a little bit more accuracy. Uh, I hope this has helped you learn some of the, the subdivision modifier as well as the loop cut which is the control R shortcut that we did a lot with as well as the extrude. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.